In this week's TUT, I'm going to teach you guys how to use the pen tool in order to create a modern logo design. So hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name's Manny and in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a modern logo design using the pen tool. Now, if you're here for the first time, do have a look down below in the description is a link to the Tronics Design Media Package where you get everything that I create on a monthly basis for $4.99 or my brushes, shapes, PSDs, backgrounds, everything that I create on a monthly basis, you get here for $4.99. Okay, great. So let's get right away into this tutorial. So you guys can see here the top layer is still the whole finished design. And then on top of that, uh, underneath that, I actually have a few more layers that I want to show you guys quickly. So I'm just going to turn off this logo layer here. And then obviously for the background, I just created a normal gradient from red into yellow to give everything a bit of a nicer touch. You can also do this on a white layer, on a black, whatever you want. Also for the newcomers, there's a tutorial on the channel about canvas sizes. Do have a look if you are completely unsure how to get here. So the idea was to have basically an M letter shape and also that shaped into a kind of a brush stroke. So let me show this again. So it kind of looks like a big brush that stroke that M that gives the name uh, Molo and gives the M for the name Molo. So I first created a sketch and did that. That was an initial design. And then from here on, I just refined it a little bit and made it a bit more looking like a kind of a brush. So use this to trace again my design. Now today I'm not going to trace every single step because it took me quite a long while to get to this very refined round edges with my paths. Um, today I'm going to trace this one as well, but I initially used this. So let's actually start there. I'm going to show you quickly how to do this and then I will go over to this one and just refine it a bit better. Okay, so first step was just to have step two, so basically my sketch here. And then what I did is I created two empty layers. So just via the layer icon down here, two empty ones. I'm going to take now the rectangular marking tool, press command A, select the, the whole canvas here. Also guys, I'm working on a Mac, so if you're a Windows user, please press control when I say command. Okay, so command A, select the whole canvas, hit right click and say fill here just with white. Okay. Command D, get out of the selection. Again, Windows user, please press Control. Okay, one more time, Command A, select the whole thing, right click, say Fill. And here I'm gonna go over to Color. And this time I'm just gonna pick like a bit of a darkish gray color, which I want for my font as well, or basically in my design. I'm gonna hit OK. Great, Command D, get out of the selection. And I have now here gray and white. I'm just gonna quickly rename it for you guys. There we go, great. Let's turn them off and go back to our, just our sketch. Now I'm gonna press P on the keyboard in order to get into the pen tool. And I'm gonna start putting some paths in place and anchor points in order to get here, obviously that very first shape going. So basically I'm looking here at that top part. Let me just turn this off. So basically this little t uh, part here. And now the white layer acts as our, say, vector mask. Uh, because I, once I have done all the paths, this first one, the second one, third and fourth. I will just create a vector layer here and then in order I can shape. But let me show you that. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off this and turn on sketch two. I'm gonna put an anchor point, another anchor point, one over here, just keep on holding and drag it out so we can create a nice curve there. Then hold Alt, select this anchor point and then also determine the direction in which the new path will go. I'm gonna take it back like this and also complete the path here. Keep on holding, click and drag, and also complete that. Also now, if you're completely new to the pen tool, have no idea how to work with it, have a look on the channel, is another tutorial teaching you how to work with the pen tool. Now, I did this step, and then obviously I went further and did some more. Like I said earlier, I don't wanna sit here and try to refine this now for half an hour. So what I basically did is just a few more anchor points, like so, and another one like here, Another curve, just quickly gonna replicate that. And then, once I achieved that, I actually went and created a vector mask, okay? Like so, I created my paths, let's turn this off. So one, two, three, and four, and you can already see how crooked this one is, it's quite skew and not so nice, because I did it obviously quite quickly. So please take more time when you do this and when you basically trace your design. So what I did now is then hit right click and go and create a vector mask out of this. But before we do that, select the white background layer here. So I'm gonna hit right click now via using the pen tool 
and say create vector mask. So right away, if I switch this on, I can see the design here. And now I can go back to my, so to say, sketch here. You can also turn your sketch if you did this on a white piece of paper like I did. You can change the blending modes to darken so you can see things a little bit better. So what I did now is go back to my vector layer here. Don't forget to still be in the pen mode. Then I'll zoom in a bit, press P again for the pen mode. And now I hold command on my keyboard, again for the Windows user control. And I select my anchor points and these little dots over here. And then I basically reshape this until I'm happy and until I feel, yes, now I'm getting the curve that I'm wanting and it looks kind of better. And this process I did for quite a while until I achieved this look. So just to give you an idea, this took me quite a while to get everything nice and round. So what I want to do again is just delete uh, this vector layer here and also trace quickly from this initial design. So we don't need to sit here and watch me try to get all my curves properly and nice and round for half an hour. So I'm gonna fast forward the video quickly and just also show you how I trace this. Then you'll see me, I'll do first of all a vector layer on the white and then on the gray and we have our nice shape, brush shape looking M uh, design. Okay, so I've created a nice path and finished those. I'm gonna go back to the white layer here and then select the pen tool, right click and say create vector mask. So right away I have my beautiful vector mask over here. Okay, I'm gonna continue the next step now again and also fast forward the video and we'll just trace along these edges. Okay, last anchor point. And again, the pen tool, select the gray, and I'm gonna hit right click and say, just create vector mask. So I'm gonna turn on the white and the black, and then let's also have a look here if I turn this on top, so we can see all the nice designs here. And I can right away see here that I should extend maybe my white a little bit further, so it just bleeds in a bit nicer, and also here at the bottom. So that's what I meant earlier again. So I went back now to this layer, just press B on the keyboard, Zoom it a bit closer and basically take this anchor point here and just move that a little bit down so it matches up. I'm going to use the same over here. Just also expand that a bit further in so it matches up a bit nicer there. And here at the top as well, drag this in a bit further. Great. Let's zoom out again. Okay, let's have a look down here. That all looks good. Take the pen tool, hit double escape, and you're out of that. So right away, you have your design just created with the M. Then you can take both of these, just press Command G, and just obviously put that together in a group, and like maybe write logo M. That is set. You can have your steps here with your initial designs. You can leave them, delete them, whatever. And then obviously just created here a little nice background at the back, just having from red into orange, have a nice gradient so it looks a bit nicer. And then lastly, what I did is still select the text tool and just gave this obviously the last letters. So Olo is the last one, Olo. And for this, I use a certain font. It's called Neon 80s, regular and about 50 pixel size. So you guys can also find that in the description down below if you didn't see this up here. Okay, and what I did then is just took the two L's, changed the color to the same gray, so it just has a cool style and move that over here because it looked like kind of cool mollo and here is also uh, the rest of the basically the word so this could maybe be like a brand for electric scooter or something like that so yeah guys that's basically it for this tutorial if you do like this do give me a thumbs up let me know in the comments down below what you think about this don't forget to subscribe hit the bell so you're notified when i send out new videos every week and yeah do let me know in the comments what you like about this also give me a thumbs up and yeah hope to see you guys all in the next tutorial see ya